Hi, this is Dave with Hubstaff. I wanted to briefly go over with you what you as a manager or an owner need to know regarding Hubstaff in order to get the most benefit from it. The first page you're going to see is the dashboard. We have a team and a me view. You can see these numbers change. They change because you're looking at my own work versus my entire team. You can also see the past seven days and you can see the activity levels. You can also, if you have more than one organization, you can also view just based on one organization. So you can see how these change. It will also change all the people that are involved in that organization. So you can see now who's involved with NetSoft Holdings LLC. You can see the activity levels changed, the time my team has worked today, the time my team has worked over the past seven days, and you can look at myself alone as well. You can also see who's online right now. You can see uh, their activity percentage over the past seven days, and this is a bar graph. Each of these represents one day, and you can see how many hours they worked on that particular day just in a graphical format. Over here, you'll see a graph of the time worked by person. Now, on the activities page, it's important to note that you change the date here. You can view by person, by project. You can click on any one of these screenshots to see more detail, and you can simply filter through. This is a bar graph of the activity level of this person. If the person does have two screenshots, you'll see that indicated by two right here instead of versus one. This means there's a dual monitor. Or it could also mean that the user switched projects multiple times within that 10 minute segment. If the activity level gets to be low, the bar graph turns to be orange. And also you can see if they add manual time, this is our indication of that. Your users can add notes. They can delete screenshots if they have the permissions and if they are filtered by a project. So now you can see I can delete the screenshot only or I can delete all the activity. I delete the screenshot, here's what it looks like. If I delete the activity, it looks like this. It goes away 100%. Now, your users are not able to do that unless they're given those permissions. Here's where you can set the permissions by going to the Organizations tab, and then Settings. Now for each person, you can modify their individual permission. Modify time, delete screens. This is whether or not they can add manual time, and this is whether or not they can delete the screenshots. Everyone can delete activity because if that's the case, if they delete a 10 minute segment, then that means that that time is subtracted from their hours. If you want them to not be able to delete activity, then what you need to do is click here on modify time allowed and select everyone to know. Or you can do that on an individual basis. This means they cannot delete activity and they cannot add time manually. Our reporting section is where you can go to get detailed information or overview information on your organization's projects and members. So you can see that if you go to team, we've got three overview modes here, organizations, projects, and members. And you can see that these change as you hit the tabs. You can change the date range to get different numbers and different views. And again, this is all in kind of overview mode. Now our detailed reports are where the most powerful reports are. Here's where you can add filters and change date ranges and, and view by modes in order to get pretty much the exact data you want. You can see here that I can simply add a filter here. I can change to look at only one project. I can change the date range to the past seven days. Um, I can look at only one member and I can view by member and then I can apply and here's what I get, one hour of manual time. This is 0% because it was manual time. Now I can take these filters away to get different information. So this is all work done by this organization, by all members, and it's grouped by members. So you can see that Chris, Dave, Ed, Jared, Kelvin, Jessica, the amount that they each worked in their individual 
activity levels. You can also view this information by project, or you can view it by date. You can also export these reports to CSV. Our timesheet section is where your employees can add manual time. You can see that each of these is an individual work log that spans some period of time. This is a culmination of everything that has happened with this particular team member automatically through the timer and manual time as well. You can only view one date at a time and you can only view one person at a time. Your members can also delete their time here or edit time. You can see that if I were to edit this time right here, this time log, I can expand, change the time, provide a reason which is required, and then hit save, which would change the time on that particular log. Our team payments page is actually where you can go to pay your team. You can see that the, the rates are set here. You can set the rates at whatever you want. This is USD. And you can see what these columns are within the date range, and that's important, within the date range for this organization. Here's the number of hours that have been paid, and here's the amount of hours that have not been paid. So in this time frame, you can see that, um, for example, we paid Danny... 32 hours and 43 minutes and seven seconds. And in the dollar amount that he has earned is 621.66. His unpaid hours, which is basically for today only, um, because I've, I've got everyone paid through and I can show you this. So if I would do through the 16th through the 21st, for example, the unpaid hours are zero. So I don't owe him anything for that period of time. But if I change it to the last seven days, can see these numbers change and now I do owe him because he's worked today. So I can tell exactly what I owe him for today and exactly what I've paid him for the past seven days. Basically what you can do now is you can go to past payments and you can see that I paid this out for September 1, 2012 through Sunday, July 21st, 2013. You can export this and you can see that export to Excel it opens up and you can see all the different amounts. Now this can be easily transferable into PayPal, MoneyBookers, MoneyGram, basically any system takes this simple format. We do have PayPal as well, so a format that will work directly with PayPal. Now the cool thing is that you can also filter by uh, organizations here. You can see that you'll never lose track of what you paid, how much you paid, and the numbers you can always go back and reference for accounting purposes. Here's our project screen. This is very easy. So basically we just go through here and we can, um, you can add a members to the projects and edit who is on what projects and what their roles are. You can also start a new project, very easy. So you start a project, you select your organization and then you save, you add the project, you tell us who is a part of this project and then you hit save and you've got a new project listed. Now, for organizations, it works very similar. Organizations, you can start a new organization. Organizations are much more complex. They have, this is where you control the settings. This is where you control um, what projects are archived, the members. This is where you invite team members in. So you can invite a member very easily by doing this and then just enter their email address and tell us what type of a user role that you want. Some descriptions are right here and then select the projects that you want this user to be, to be associated with. And then we will send an email to that user inviting them into Hubstaff. So for now, that's all I wanted to go over with you. Um, hopefully that provides a decent overview of what Hubstaff is, how it works. And if you have any questions, feel free to just use this little question mark here, uh, which will get a new message directly to us, or you can always email us at support at hubstaff.com. Thank you.